the dimension of the word. Psalm 33 verse 6. Lord, give us understanding of your word. Hallelujah. Psalm 33 verse 6. Psalm 33 verse 6. By the word of the Lord were the heavens and all the hosts of them by the breath of what? Through the word of God. There's nothing will be or will ever exist without the word of God. Genesis chapter 1 from verse 2. After the spirit of God has moved, has finished moving, and God said, let there be what? Light. And there was light. And it was good to him. Anything you need is in the word of God. It's not in the pastor. It is in the Bible. Tell nobody it's in the Bible. If you can know the word, the Lord will take care of your world. Hallelujah. Tell nobody if you can know the word, the world, God will take care of your world. Amen. Your world can be right now, you're stagnant. Things are not happening. You're sleeping angry. You're jobless. The day you come in contact with the word of God, things will change. Things will change. By the word. By the word of God. So, verse 2 says us, the earth was empty. Is it true? It was so dark. There was nothing inside. You are here, you are saying nothing. I have nothing. I have only one job and does not take care of my meals. Does not care of my family very well. I'm believing God for another job or I'm believing God for increase. I have good news for you. By the word of God, something will increase in your house in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you shout aloud, amen? amen? Hallelujah. Are you in church? Yes. By the word of God, something will increase in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You need the word. There's nothing more you need. Why you come to church is so that you can know the Bible. I commend you the word of his grace, Acts chapter 20, verse 32. When you have the word, everything can change. The word is the most prophet you can ever have than a real prophet. This is the real prophet. Anything our prophet will say will come from the word. Are we clear? The word is the best pastor you can ever have. And the Bible says, and now brethren, I commend you to God. And what? To the word of his grace. I commend you to this Bible. If you have a Bible, lift it up and say, this Bible is everything to me. Lift the Bible and say, this Bible is everything to me. Tell your neighbor, if your neighbor has no Bible, show your neighbor, tell your neighbor, this Bible is everything to me. Tell your neighbor, this is the sweetest thing than Ugali. It's better than Unga ya hostess. Hallelujah. This is the best thing. It's better than Unga ya ajab. Hallelujah. This is everything. I commend you to the word of his grace that is able to build you. Number one. Then number two will give you an inheritance. If you need a car, it is this idea. Anything you need. How, okay, how did the ministry get here? By the word. We started in that place where we had no chair, nothing. God has always been here. Samburu right now. How is it growing? Yeah, how is it growing? Every time they're having a new fast timers. How is it growing? By the word. By the Bible. By the Bible. Tell them about anything you need is in the Bible. Tell them about know your Bible. Read your Bible. Yes. Sing to your neighbor. Can you sing for your neighbor? Read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible. If you want to don't read your Bible. You will shrink, shrink, and shrink. Even you will disappear in this earth. No one will notice you. You need the Bible. Tell anybody you need a Bible. You need to know your Bible. You got born again recently. You want to know Christ? Start with the Proverbs. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Simple. When you know this Bible, things will change. By the word of God. There's nothing we can have. The healing you need is by the word of God. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Will we look for the Bible? Ask and never, will you look for a Bible? 
Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. I want you to seek the word. Look for the Bible. And he answered and he said what? It is what? It is what? It is what? Man shall not live but by what? Every word. Every word. Tell anybody you cannot live by Chapati. Tell anybody you cannot live by Chapati. You cannot live by Gideri. Tell anybody you cannot live by Gideri. You cannot live by Modokoi. You can only live by the word. Ask anybody, do you have a word? You can never have a word unless you know your Bible. Unga is life. No. The Bible is life. Tell anybody the Bible is life. If you can eat ugali every day, ask yourself, did you eat the Bible that day? Don't put food in your mouth every day and sleep without reading your Bible. This is the creative force you need. And the dimension of the word that will affect your mind is starts with the Bible. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 17 verse 11. Our man of God, Yashad, said the word of God transforms us. Hallelujah. The word of God changes you. He came here when he was jobless. God has given him a job. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Can we clap for Jesus? That is powerful. Yeah. Following God. Following God. He stayed in church. Stayed in church. Grew in the word. As he was growing in the word, God sold him to him. He came here believing God for masters. God took him to school. Hallelujah. That is the power of the word. When you know the Bible, you change levels. And they said they were no more noble than those in Thessalonica. So there are people in a particular church who are better than another church. Do you know why? That's the answer there. In that they received the word with what? Readiness of mind. They were looking for the Bible. They were not looking for the pastor, apostle, prophet. Listen to me. Tell your neighbor, apostle will not take you to heaven. Prophet will not take you to heaven. Aye. It's only the Bible which will qualify qualify them. So they were readiness of mind. They were ready to hear the word. They were better than that church because they were willing to take the word. If all of you can know the Bible, you'll go far. Ask your neighbor, do you desire to know the Bible? What did your neighbor tell you? They are not happy. Uh, how many of us desire to know the Bible? Tell your neighbor, buy a Bible. Read a Bible. You buy credit so much, you don't buy a Bible. Tell your neighbor, buy a Bible. Hallelujah. You buy unga. Some of you consume over 10,000 a month and your rent is 3,000. It means how much you love your stomach. Tell your neighbor, stomach will die. The word of God will live. Amen. Oh, yes. The best inheritance you can give your children is the Bible. From January, I told you how the word of God affects our eyes. Remember that? It affects the knowledge of the eyes. Remember that? And I told you, when the word of God affects your eyes, you gain understanding, which leads you to have faith, and you believe. Then lastly, last month in February, I talked about how the word of God affects our body. Do you remember that? I talked about the celestial and the terrestrial bo body. But one thing I want to tell you, you may understand matters. Have faith. Have a great belief system. A good body without a great mind. Nothing can happen to you. Tell anybody without a great mind. Nothing can happen. Have you ever seen people who are talented but they don't have the mind? That's the best person. He But they have always been in the same place. You are praying, you have faith. Let me tell you, even if you have vision of how you'll buy a car, how you start building in the village, if you don't have a great mind, you cannot go anywhere. And a great mind is drawn by the Bible. But there what? Some of you are under, how do I able to do this? I read the Bible. I believe in this thing more than any other thing. Tell me about the Bible affects your mind. So this month, I'll be focusing on the word of God that gives knowledge to the mind. That gives what? Knowledge. The word of God that affects your mind, affects your thinking. That's how you think. 
I was less raised in poverty. I lived in a small house. My father lost his, my father lost his job in the military. He went to a slum. In that slum, my I grew. Class 8, form 1, form 2. Form 1, first of all, I went to school in second town. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. I was in poverty also. We used to sleep. How many of us have ever slept? Ah, I've, I've done gone through that. Water was raining. When it was raining, we were putting patients in the house. Are we clear? That we have water, at least to kona margin kwa nyumba. Are we clear? One day water entered the house. My friend, we were floating all of us. Amen. We were floating. But what changed me was not only vision that one day I'll make it. Did you hear what I'm saying? Everyone has to make it. Even now, if you ask your neighbor, they will tell you they want to make it. It's not that I had a good body that I'm very strong than any other person that I'm going to gym. No. What changed me is the word of God that affected my mind. If your mind is not changed by the word of God, anything you are seeing for yourself in the future, you may fail to see it. And the word of God changes your mind first. Unless you change your thinking, you may keep on stinking. Tell your neighbor, until you change your thinking, you may keep on stinking. You may unako unanuka tu, pesa akuna, unanuka tu, muli na niuma. Everything will depend on you. May the Lord affect your mindset. So the word of God changes your mind. Number one, when it changes your mind, the vision you have, the strength you have in your body, you know how to use it. Some of you will have been very far right now. But do you know why Pesa is Toshi? Because your mind has not been affected yet. The day your mind is affected, anything you have is more than enough. Have you ever calculated how much you earn in a year? Some of you earn over 100,000 in a year. Where did the money go to? Why are you still living in the same house? Why have you never even started a business? Because there's a problem with your mind. I have prayed to say, God, my mind must, you must conform my mind for me to go anywhere. But your mind change in the name of Jesus Christ. Now listen to me. Men of faith and believe, good body, need corresponding action. Tell everybody you need corresponding action. And that one does not happen without your ma. Number one, after you catch a vision that is possible to be healed, you catch a vision that is possible for you to start your own business, it is possible for you to succeed in the land of the living. Then you start working on your holiness, working on your body. The third thing you need, you need to change your thinking. And the word of God is what can think. How many of us have ever planned? Yes. What, what is eating? How, how did you get here? The church is all struggling. We're okay. Last Sunday you came, we had no doors. Is it true? We had no windows there. Yeah. We have already, even we were just putting the windows there yesterday. What is happening? Every, I'm telling you, every week you come here, you will see something different. <laughs> There's something in the mind. Are we clear? There's something in wire. And what is influencing my mind is the Bible. Not a book somewhere. The Bible. You can read 20 ways to be a success. But you fail to be a success. The Bible is not a motivational talk. Are we clear? I am not telling you to motivate you. I'm telling you what the Bible can do. You can move from poverty and change the life of your family. From today, may your mind be affected in the name of Jesus Christ. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Hebrews 11, verse 6. The knowledge of the mind. The Bible affects your thinking. How did we go to Samburu? We built that structure. Oh, and very quickly, we put this one, we put the toilet. Put it, very quickly. How do we do it? The mind. And always tell them, I'm thinking, don't disturb me. When I'm thinking, I have my Bible next to me. I'm thinking with my Bible. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. This is what can change you. Tell neighbor, you'll become a success. You'll become a what? May you become a success in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. May you become a what? A success. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But without, it is what? For he that cometh to God must believe that he what? And that is a reward of what? But let me tell you, faith will just make God happy, but will not move God. 
Did you hear what I said? Tell them about faith. It will make God happy. But it will never move God. What will move God? Philemon chapter 1 verse 14. That's why you are find pastors have great faith. But there's nothing happening in the church. Why? Faith can move mountains. It's true. But for the faith to move mountains, there's a mindset that must be present. Are we clear? Faith without the mind is useless. May God touch your mind in the name of Jesus Christ. May God. He says, Lord, but what? But what? But without? God is telling me, without your mind, sir, he will not do anything. I said, what do you want to be? I want to be a pilot. But you are not thinking. <laughs> Which pilot will you get there? Even if you confess scriptures, I am the head and not the tail. I shall be blessed when I go out and when I come in. And your mind is not working. You will stay there. Stop confessing. Start professing with a thought. Hallelujah. Change your mind. Then your faith will show results. Jesus did not have just faith. He had a mindset. Are we clear? And the word of God changes how you think. How you see things. Amen. May your mind be transformed in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. I think the teachers should release the children to their classes. Amen. We will not manage with them, all of them. Hallelujah. Valerie, please. Amen. You can let them and just give them activity for them to be able to do. Hallelujah. Calvin. Hallelujah. Your mind. Your mind. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Tell them about, you may have faith, but if your mind is small, God will not do any big thing. <laughs> Are we clear? You go, don't lie to me. I am a student. I am a Christian. I have faith. I will succeed. God has anointed me. The man of God laying hands on me. I will be at the best. Rabbi Yakato, I'll be the head and not and you're not reading. Will you will you lead? Will you lead the class? Tell your neighbor, Hallelujah. And we will ask you what happened to the anointing. The anointing could not work with your faith without your ma. Your mind must be involved. And the Bible changes your mindset, my friend. I will show you before I finish this month. You will see the power of the word of God. The way I think has been influenced. I, I have faith, my friend. I have faith. Not doubt that. I have faith. I have a lot of faith in him. But I have not for faith to be potent. My mind also must be active. Hallelujah. That's why 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15. 2 Timothy 2 15. The Bible says very well. Study to show thyself approved. Ah, 2 Timothy 2.15. Study to show thyself what? And to a workman. Tell everybody you must study. <laughs> Tell everybody you must study. You must change your mind. Stop telling me I have been going to church. I have been going for, the, for Bible study. Been, but nothing is changing in your mind. You will stay in the same position for years. If you are serving culture is wrong, shift your mind. Hallelujah. If how you are managing your business is wrong, shift your mind. Then the faith you have will bring results. Faith will make God happy, but will not move God. It is the mindset you put in that faith will move God. I can't just say God, God will build. Okay, we want to build this now, this building, three stories up. Is it true? Okay. They have already done with the budget and everything. But I'm praying over it. Sir, how will we go about it? It's not about buying stones. It's not about putting tumor and everything. No, there's some wisdom must be put in place. Are we clear? Yes, there's some wisdom. I am studying, I'm asking myself questions. What do we do here? I have faith to do the work. Yes, but Lord, is my mind present? Stop saying we will change our life if your mind is not being transformed. Tell me about your life changes with your mind. Tell me about your life changes with your mind. Faith can please God, but does not guarantee any response from God. Tell you what does not guarantee. James chapter 1, verse 5 to 8. This month, may your mind change in the name of Jesus Christ. You will start doing things differently in the name of Jesus Christ. May your mind shift. Tell anybody receive a shift of your mindset. 
I have very strict protocols around the church. Even now we run the church from the word go, from when we started. Why was it there? I have faith. God will build us a city. Amen. But there's a mindset I must have. We even, or we can keep on confessing here. City, 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 city. I know city is coming. In seven years, see how we have grown very fast. See how we are working. There's a mindset behind it. Soon we'll be starting and businesses open everywhere here. Amen. Tell everybody you will never lack a job in the name of Jesus Christ. But there's a mindset. There are people who are putting mind with faith together. You can't tell me I'm believing God and you're not thinking. You know very well you love wasting money on phone calls. And then you are praying for God to help you with prosperity. Tell everybody you'll be poor. Hey. No, that's not have faith. Have faith to be rich. And your mind is not working. It's not possible. James chapter 1. If any of you what? If, tell anybody if any of you. Like what? What does he need to do? Let him ask of where? Ask God. Lord, how do I move from this place? He didn't say don't ask God for faith. Ask God for wisdom. Lord, I have been in the same mountain for long. What is the wisdom? That giveth to all men liberally and are present not and it shall be God given to him. Verse 6. But let him ask what? In faith. Nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave in the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. Verse 7. For let not that the man think that he shall receive anything of the what? Don't think you will receive anything. Because your mind is not stable. Your mind is not changing. Then you expect to receive anything. Because a double-minded man is what? You are unstable. When your mind is not stable, there's nothing you can receive. Ask your neighbor, what are you thinking? You are just thinking about food. You are just thinking, how, uh, no, don't come to church and stop thinking. Salvation does not make you become irresponsible. It makes you more responsible. Hallelujah. So you have faith to work. You must think, go sit down with your family. Go sit down with your wife. I was something while talking with mommy even this week. We have a business meeting. I, she's my wife. We do business meeting with her. You say, now we have this business. How do we go about it? Why are we wasting money? We have faith one day to be bigger. But where is the meeting? Where, meet? where are we thinking? The word of God. I have meetings. If you can save a thousand per week, how much will you have at the end of the year? Okay, let me leave it alone. We're in the month of March. Is it true? Now somebody say, I want to start a business. I want to get capital. If you start saving 200 shillings per week, and I'm not going for 200 bob. In a month, how much is that? 800. Is it true? 800 multiplied, how many months are remaining right now? 10. 800 multiplied by 10. You'll, at the end of the year, you'll have how many? How much will you have? How much will you have? You don't know how to do math, my friends. 8 you are saving 200 per week. 200 times 4 is what? 800. 800 times 10 is what? You have something. You will say, I don't have anything. Most of you close the year, you have nothing. You know, your bank account has nothing. But if I ask you how much you eat in a day, most of you eat even more than 200 in a day. I'm asking the truth. So you're, how do you have faith for God and your mind is not working? Have faith, but let your mind what? The churches that are poor is because the pastor is not thinking. He's just praying. Oh, Father, oh, Father, we release. We open. Jesus is wondering, what are you opening and releasing? Everything I've given you on earth. Think. Money does not fall from heaven. Are we clear? Tell your man, neighbor, money is here on earth. And some of you are still in debt. You're still full lizard. And every time you full lizard, you don't full lizard for anything important. It's for food or to buy shoes or to buy clothes. Tell your neighbor, change your thinking. Change your what? What are you for listening? When you know Uji? When you know Supu? I was laughing with Mama this week. I was telling her, there's a place she's been passing by and she's been given something with a straw. And I tell her, be careful that it does not make you poor. Are we clear? Be careful. You must be thinking. Are you thinking? God must work with your mind. Even if you have faith, your mind should be what? Ask your neighbor, when is the last time you had a meeting with yourself? She so asked your neighbor, when is the last time you had a meeting with yourself before you prayed? 
Some of us pray, but we don't meet with ourselves. Today, go home and sit. Ask yourself, where am I wasting money? Are we clear? Not every time you must use matatu, you can walk a distance. Is it true? Okay, from here to Kiserian is how much? From here to town is how much? 100 shillings. Some of us, we must ponder the ones which have colors. Which are these Vanyangas? Eh? And those ones, they don't charge even 100. They charge 150. Is it true? After my pigyo makele maskeo, you're talking about uma. Uma ipa 150. Then you are coming home and saying, God, I'm believing you for finances. Tell your neighbor you are sick. Don't tell me that's sickness. That is sickness. Kuna mta na kula, paka sweat. Akikosa kula, lazima toe shati kwanza. Aoge mkono. Say, anaosha, anaosha, anaoga. Kuna nasan? Aoshi, anaoga mkono. Are we clear? Get the difference. Yani lazima oge. Aditarishi, afungua mshipi. A losing bet. Kuna ilo kutasema? Aweke ungali. At an angle, perpendicular to his him. Okay? Naze kukula. Then anasema, I am poor. Tell your neighbor you are not poor. You are using your faith carelessly. Tell your you are using your faith carelessly. Faith without thinking is nothing. Are we clear? The word of God is supposed to change your mind? If you come to church for over three months and your mind is not changing, there is something wrong with your Christianity. Mark my words. There is something wrong. You are not been listening to the pastor. There are some devils come in your life because you're poor. Tell me about the sicknesses and devils come to you because you're poor. There's a, there's, there's, listen to me. With all due respect, how many of us have met rich people? Okona people. I mean, you can count. Is it true? But how can poor people not count people? Tell me about it's a problem of money. Even devils know who to address. Are we clear? They know what to address. They know. They know. The day you start saving and investing with faith, with your mind being present, I promise you, there's no day you'll even be sick. The stress you're having right now is because you are believing God, but your mind is not what? Tell you about believe God, but let your mind what? Let your mind what? I believe God for great things, but I'm thinking, I'm reading. Amen. Wow. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5. The mind must be involved. But if it's unstable, there cannot be stable results. May we have stable results in the name of Jesus Christ. What is the state of your mind? Jesus being the son of God possessed a particular mindset. No matter the greatness of knowledge or vision he had or faith. Jesus had faith, but he had a particular mind. Philippians 2 5. Look at this. What does the Bible say? Let this what? Beware. Can you read together? One, two, three, go. Which was what? That's how Jesus used to think. He was a man of prayer. He was a man of faith. But that's how he used to think. How did we buy this land here? We are not listening. You know, the first time we came, I remember my son, someone came and told me, you can lease. I said, I'm not listening. I said, why are you not listening? I said, church will never lease ground. The day you lease ground, you'll be in poor for poverty forever. You will never build anything. And they asked me, I remember I was talking with my sons while doing a meeting. I said, how will we do it? I said, I'm showing the formula how we do it. I said, did you think? Most of those people who work around me, they know. I always ask, are you thinking? If you're not thinking, even if you have faith, it is useless. You have faith, one day you'll buy a car. Is it true? You have faith, maybe one day you'll start a business. Are you thinking as you have faith? What can you do now for the sake of tomorrow? Are we clear? When you are thinking, you are moving closer to your blessing. May you move closer in the name of Jesus Christ. May you move what? Jesus had a particular mind and he was the son of God. How much more you? We should desire the dimension of the word that gives knowledge to our mind. That we bring the reality of what God has seen in you. Or what God has set for you. This world you will be make it. Hallelujah. But put your mind into a action. James chapter 1 verse 22, 25. Anything small your children are crying for crips you give. You are, you are not thinking. You are not thinking. Did you have a budget for those lollipops? Did you have a budget for those crips and sweets? I have also children. They know. I tell my daughter all the time, pray for it. 
He said, I want this. I'm just like praying. Yesterday she came and told me she didn't want Kamusi and addiction. I said, go pray. <laughs> did you see my message? I said, I did not see your message. Did you tell your heavenly father first? So she asked me, Daddy, why do you always tell me to pray? I say, when you are praying, God will teach you how to budget. So yesterday night I was explaining to her what a budget is. You don't spend because you have. Are we clear? She has her money. We give her money every month for her account. But she won't spend her money. Say, I don't spend my money. Why? Say, it's a budget. It's budgeted for. You receive money. Do you think as much you are believing? Ask your neighbor, do you think as much you are believing? Some of us have got a salary this month. You went for work this week. Are you thinking as much you are believing? Or you are just believing without thinking? Someone paid you 100 shillings that day. Are you thinking before you, you spend it or you are just believing without thinking? Tell anybody receive grace to think. Hey, you are quiet today. It means all of you are thinking, but they are my thinking. Huh? Some of you are young right now, be relationships. I'll be telling these young people. What is working for me right now in my age, between 20 and 30 years old, I made good relationships. I did not mess up with people. Now, all those people now are rewarding me back. If I need right now anything, I'm telling the truth, people will give me. Some of us are 20. You think now you are the most handsome man, the most beautiful guy. You are posting anything on status online. I was talking to a CEO of a bank, and I was asking him, how do you guys employ now these people? They say, we look at Facebook and Instagram. I said, what is in Facebook and Instagram for you? Tell them, does it show thinking or believing? You're not thinking. You're just posting anything. Are we clear? Then you come to church. God, give me a job. God, I release my job. But when you leave the job, church, you go on social media. Mimi muta Are we clear? Kila na maisha ya? Maybe a CEO is looking. How will they employ you? Yeah, my brother asked me for your accounts for Facebook. <laughs> I told her you don't have Facebook no accounts. Whatever it is. Yes. What kind of people are these? There are some prayers are being held by your thinking, not your prayer. Did you hear what I'm talking about? Tell anybody there are some prayers that are being held. They are not being answered because of your thinking. Yes. You are thinking anything. You are not thinking the right way. Yes, you are saying, God, answer me. God has no problem answering you. Your mind is your limitation. Was there four six? Look at this. May we start thinking differently in the name of Jesus Christ. That's why it teaches you to be responsible. As a Christian, you are careful how you talk. You sit down and think on things. You just don't do things. Because I'm anointed of God doesn't mean I'll be careless. Right now I have a book on the table there, church planting. I'm reading it. I say, we want to build up churches. I must start reading right now. What does the Bible say? My people are what? For lack of what? They knowledge. They don't have knowledge. That's why they are not thinking. Because that was what? Rejected. I will also what? God will also reject you. It's not your faith. Your faith cannot move mountains without your mind. Let your mind be present. I will also reject thee. For that thou shalt not be a priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. May God not forget you in the name of Jesus Christ. That's why God gives you pastors to feed you with knowledge and understanding. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15. The, I'm telling you to think there's some prayers right now. It's not a prayer. It's a thinking issue. How do you spend your time? Where do you go when you are free? Who do you spend your time with? How do you spend your money? There are some women who are just taking your money away. You're not supposed to be talking to them. Why are you giving them money? And they are not your wives. Hallelujah. Why ukona shida tuna muogo? Ukipita pali wane muogo, ata kama uliku umeenda, unasema, apa, mimi siyachi ikitu. Mungu unandastani, yu muogo leo, lazima nipite na ayo. And you know very well, that money was for your savings. Ask a neighbor, what appetite do you have? Thinking. Are you what? Are you thinking as much you are praying? And I will give you what? Can you read one, two, three, go? 
According to what? And we shall feed you with what? And what? There is no way you will give anyone anything without knowing the, how they think. And even now in my office, uh, there's a law. Everyone who works in my office must do a short course. There's no sitting there. I can, I don't. There's, no, uh, there's nothing like that. They must go. Why? Because if they can think, they will succeed. Are we clear? So stop praying, God, money. I break poverty in my family. But when you get money, you don't think. How much did you earn in February? Yet right now you don't have money. What did you spend your money on? I told my daughter, there's a budget. And she asked me, what is a budget? I said, a budget is not something you spend without writing down first. To know if it's a need or a want. And she asked me, what is a need and what is a want? I said, a need you cannot say without it. A want is because you want it. <laughs> I want to eat food. Tell anybody you can say without food. You can eat one meal. You are a young man. You can eat one meal in a day. Are we clear? You don't need to eat three square meals. First of all, you're not even pregnant. There's no one inside you who's eating. So the day you become pregnant, what happens? You are not thinking, yet you are praying. Father, I break poverty. Tell me about poverty has no problem. Tell me about poverty has no problem. Tell me about you are the one who's calling poverty. Because you're not here. Are you being blessed? <laughs> Shout aloud, amen, if you are. Oh, there you are quiet. Hey, I pray you will pray for me well this week in Jesus' name. Ah, James chapter 1, verse 22, 25. Let me show you this. Thinking that ch this church will not be rich because it will be rich. They must be thinking going around here. Thinking. No wastage. Everyone must be accountable. You say, oh, man of God is so strict. Oh, yes, I am thinking. I am thinking very well. James, are we there? Chapter 1. But be what? Do us of the what? And not what? Deceiving your own Verse 22, 23. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not what? He is like to a man beholding his natural face in a what? In a glass. Verse 24. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth what? And set away, forgotteth what man of money. How do you forget? Do you remember how you were raised in your family? Some of you gone through hard times. Why are you behaving as if you, are, you don't remember how you went through your life? You are still doing the same cycle, bring it back to your children. The same cycle. May you receive grace to think in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive grace to think in the name of Jesus Christ. God will not do anything unless your mind is involved. Mark my words. Did you hear what I say? We have meetings to think. Brainstorm. Yeah, he's a witness. Sometimes he tells me, say, wait, hold on, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. But I am not moving because I have faith. Are we clear? I must think. How are you balancing the church in Sambur? How are you balancing here? Everything is okay. Why are you not having any problem? Why are we not stressed as a church? There is some thinking. I have faith, but I must think. Who, but to so look at it the perfect law of liberty. And it continues daring. For him being not forgetful, hearer, but a doer of the work, that man shall be blessed. Tell your neighbor, faith is good. But faith without thinking has no results. You must think, why are we in the same position all the time? Even in your own village, there's no heart. Yet you're here in Nairobi, you're wasting time saying, Mungu, throw a pepper your maskini. Tell your neighbor, there's no pepper on maskini. You brought poverty to yourself. You're not thinking. God cannot do anything without your mind. I've already shown you. Do you remember how it was written? Philemon chapter 1 verse what? God will not do anything without your what? Young people here, what kind of relationships are you building? Then for me, five pen that who are ahead of you are successful. Then I know you're a young man who's thinking. In every stage of life, I have people who are older than you. In my stage of life, I have people who are older than me. I am thinking. There's a path I will never know until I know how to use my brain. Prayer without thought is wastage of time. Are we clear? God has blessed all of you, but you're not engaging your mind. Receive grace to engage your mind in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Tell your neighbor, receive it in Jesus' name. 
Hallelujah. The word of God changes you. James chapter 2 verse 17 to 18. James chapter 2 verse 17 to 18. You must think. Stop wasting money on social media. And there's nothing you're making money out of it. Are we clear? You are buying data to check WhatsApp. Why don't you buy data for work? There are many online jobs. Why don't you buy data and start learning a soft skill? That is thinking. Are we clear? You have prayed on Sunday. God opened doors for me. The first way God will open a door is by looking at your mindset. He said, even so faith, if faith has no works, is what? Being what? Alone. Faith without works. What is the work of faith? Is when you take action. But before you take action, you must have thought. Amen. Verse 18, kindly please. What does verse 18 say? Yea, a man may say, thou hast what? Faith. And I have what? Show me your faith without works. I will show you my faith with works. Are you seeing the difference of those two people? There's a one who has faith without what? And there's one who has faith with what? Ask a neighbor, who are you then? Which one do you have? Do you have faith with works or faith without works? If I can see you working, it means your mind is involved. God will not do anything, sir, without your mind. Are we clear? Some say there are no jobs. There are jobs. You are not thinking. Don't say I don't have capital for business. You have it. You are not thinking. You are not thinking. I, my mother gave me 500 shillings when I finished my form 4. Oh, glory to Jesus. That's what she had. I took it. I never went to buy anything. I went to town. I went to buy braids. This is where I eat. I knew all the numbers of it. 27, 30, 1, sub 33. I knew short and long. Amen. <laughs> I knew kinky, Afro kinky and whatever. I bought Avis. I bought Abuja. I bought sisters. I know. Thinking. I was a spring in church. God changed my story. I was doing something with my mind. Are we clear? Show me your faith without works. I know you have no mind. But show me faith with works. I know you are thinking. Receive grace to think in the name of Jesus Christ. God will not do anything without your mind. Tell me about God will not do anything without your mind. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive grace in the name of Jesus Christ. If your mind has not received the dimension of the word that makes things happen, then the knowledge of your body and your eyes will all have no effect. Even if you have vision, my friend, you are saying this year, Nina Boma, Nina Vunja, Nina Toa, Nina Kamata, Nina Badilisha. And if your mind is not working, Utakuna Kitu Boma, Utakuna Kitu Kamata, Utakuna Kitu Badilisha. Are we clear? Many prayers are becoming useless because Christians are not using their brain. Because God is giving an idea. Kuna mtu ameka kwa nyumba hii wiki, amuka kampea idea, kamambia, anza kutengeleza eyes. Why have you not started doing it? Ask your neighbor, how many ideas do you have? Just ask your neighbor, how many ideas? Ask your neighbor, for all the ideas you have, which one have you done? Ask your neighbor, which one have you done? You hear your neighbor telling you, I'm still believing God. I'm still praying. Tell your neighbor, stop praying, start thinking. Stop praying and start what? Start thinking. What are you praying about? Think. That small business I started for here is what has expanded us, expanded us. How we started the event business, my daughter was having the first birthday. And then, we, my wife told me we need to hire chairs and a small tent for birthday. I said, how much is a chair? Ten shillings. Then I asked my adult wife, for how long will we be having these birthdays? So till she leaves the house. And I said, how much is a chair? Ten shillings. How many birthdays are those? Eighteen. Eighteen times ten is what? One eighty. Is it true? I asked if I buy a chair. Because everyone in this plot loves birthdays. Are we clear? Are we clear? I buy a chair. But I do it inside my house. Are we clear? When people love birthdays in the compound, they'll come and hire a chair from me. I will have money to buy a tent. Next time, we'll buy tents. That's how the event business started. 
for my daughter's birthday. I did not buy any chair. I went and bought chairs myself. I went and bought 20 chairs. I came home again around 580 shillings. I believe one was one, 460 that time. 20 shillings. 8,000 I spent there. People started adding chairs. I think the most which was next to me were adding chairs. The money for chairs returned all the money I spent. Tell anybody thinking. You are praying too much. You are thinking less. If you stop thinking, you will start thinking. Tell your neighbor, you smell the way you smell because of your thinking. Tell your neighbor, you smell, why are you afraid of your neighbor? They will not do anything. You tell your neighbor, you smell the way you smell because of your thinking. You are saying that, Sinam, Sinam, Afuta, Migu, you are not thinking. Are we clear? God will not do anything without your ma. Philemon 1.7.14. Let us go back there again as I close the service for today. I'll continue in the second service. Hallelujah. Yes. Will we go and think? Go have a meeting with yourself. You have been praying. Your children are sick is because they're maybe they're not drinking good water. If you can change their lifestyle, they take good water, they will never be sick. Are we clear? But it is your responsibility to think. One, two, three, go. But without, this is God saying, will I do nothing? In Avunja, Fimbo, Zambali, Nazakaribu, tell your neighbor, the future is in your head. Yeah. Yeah. Who bewitched you? You bewitched your head. You are not thinking. You are suspended. You are thinking. Why are Ethan's making it and Christians are not making it? Because Christians are waiting upon the Lord. Tunangodja Mungu. Mungu Ashuka. Baba Ashuka kutane na wanao na kuangodja anja. Tell you about use your head. The Lord will give you good results. Have we been blessed today? How many of us will start using our brains from today? My advice for you for this week, go have a meeting with yourself. Have a what? See where you waste money. Think about the business ideas you have. Think about the skill you have. I am telling you, the day man will come, the people will leave. Mark my words. Poverty does not go, goes with the demons. Are we clear? Prosperity does not go with that because the blessing of the Lord make it rich and has no so. You have earned salary this month. You have a small business that has given you money. Be mindful. I see how my wife does. Every time she has done a business, she gets money. She sends it somewhere. She, I think I've been telling her, hey, so you are saving. I say yes. I am thinking. Tomorrow, my children may need something. Are we clear? Who is better I eat my mboga today than eat nyama? Are we clear? But I save for tomorrow. And tomorrow my children will not eat mboga, they will eat nyama. Is it true? Think. Have you been blessed today? By the time I'm done with you this month, most of your mind will shift. Hallelujah. Your mind, that's why you don't desire the results here. There's some thinking goes on. A lot of thinking. Um, I slept. Woke up at 1 a.m. today morning. Till now, I've been awake. What was I doing? You think I was making the sermon? <laughs> the sermon was made a long time ago. Are we clear? The God cannot give me because I am anointed. No. God will not give me because I have faith. No. There are men of faith who are poor. Are we clear? There are men of faith who are men of God who are begging. The result is simple. Faith with works and faith without Receive grace to think in the name of Jesus Christ. Be on your feet. Say, Jesus, give me grace to use my mind from today. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Lord, give me grace to use my mind from today. Open your mouth and pray that prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. I cannot hear you praying. I take grace to use my mind from today. I take grace to use my mind from today. Are you praying? I cannot hear you pray. Zeba Kashanta Lamarada. I use take grace as a young person, as a mother, as a father. I take grace to use my mind. Lord, you have given me opportunities, I know. Lord, you have given me good people. Lord, you have given me a skill. You have taught me ways. Lord, I take your grace in this Thanksgiving service to use my mind, to use my mind for my change of story. Lord Jesus, I give you all the glory. Thank you and thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. Every head bow, every eye closed. Those of us who are watching us online and you're here physically, your mind can only be affected in Christ Jesus.
As I've shown you in Philippians 2, 5, let the mind of Christ be in you. For you to walk like Christ, think like Christ, behave like Christ, and also have results like Christ. You need to return to him. You need to be born again. You must confess him. If you're here, you want to be born again. You want to give your life again to Jesus. Put your right hand on your chest. You want to be born again? Congratulations, congratulations. You want to be born again? Repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. I confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Today, I'm born again. In Jesus' name I pray. Lord, for those who made that prayer, keep them in the faith. Set them free. Help them, oh Lord Jesus. They shall have good results. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Can we clap for Jesus for them? Hallelujah. Those who have received Christ, give Jesus time to work with you. Give Jesus time to heal you and deliver you. And the Lord will help you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Have you been blessed today?